robotics really started with that concept of how can we increase productivity by introducing robotics to the system. And we identified that there was a possibility with fries. It's our biggest selling item to McDonald's. It makes up 12% of the total McDonald's order when we're shipping it out. It is actually the only product that we sell in cart quantities. Our ex expectation was to drive some uh, cost savings in the system because anytime you increase your cases per hour, you would see that kind of result. The other thing we wanted to try to do was help out our workers in that harsh environment. The freezer, it's at minus 10 degrees. We introduced robotics to try to minimize that or eliminate the amount of work that we're doing in that kind of environment. We wanted to also eliminate the temp source for labor so we didn't have that untrained worker in our workplace. It made the whole environment a little bit more safer. When we installed the robotics, we dramatically have seen an increase in cases per hour as associated with the cart building. We went from 180 cases an hour to 275. We're seeing a savings of about $140,000 a year. So there's a dramatic decrease in the amount of labor we're spending on fries. We don't use temps at this location anymore. We're a 24-hour, seven-day operation, so we run three shifts in our warehouse. We only run the robotics two shifts. One of the things that we're researching right now is what the cost savings would be if we were able to convert our customers to order full cartload quantities. In addition to that, we have chicken nuggets, which the box mirrors the french fry box. So there isn't any retooling that needs to take place with the robotics. It's all set and ready to go. There's already software that's been written, so it's a natural fit. We're also looking at working with the WMS integration team to make sure that the robotics works through the traceability from the inbound pallet to the outbound cart that we're sending out of fries. So everything's working in that direction. This is a perfect system if you're dealing with an item that you're selling a lot of volume on, uniformed in case size, it's perfect for that operation. Everyone realizes the benefits of robotics from the management here at the DC to the warehouse selector. We're able to take away an undesirable task from a warehouse team at the same time, uh, save money. How can you beat that?